how are you welcome to see you all where we promote empowering information about Africa and Africans and then correct misrepresentations of Africa and Africans especially our issues in the media um, I'm a fan of Nigerian British born Star Wars actor John Boyega I think he's amazing he's a brilliant actor intelligent amazing hot looking good looking and um, I really admire his, his ability to use his voice use his space to address social justice issues you know there are many professionals in the entertainment world many black and African entertainers who would not speak up on critical issues because they think it might affect the ability to reach out to more fans not John Boyega <laughs> he stands up he speaks up for social justice he, he puts um, his integrity before popularity and I really admire that he recently retired he recently sorry resigned he's too young to retire he recently resigned as the global ambassador for the for the perfume line um, Joe Malone most of us we all love Joe Malone I have a few in my closet I've always had Joe Malone you know for many years I still think it's, they make great perfume but they made a big mistake recently um, John Boyega you know created a script shot the script in Peckham in London to promote Joe Malone. We all were excited about it. We thought, yeah, we've been buying this brand for years and we're glad it's, it's, it's um, representing the diversity of people who, who use it, you know? And, um, but he, he went on Twitter to share that he was resigning from his role as the global ambassador for the brand because his work was mis was co-opted without credit being given to him. Let me please read directly what he said on Twitter on September 14th so I don't misrepresent him. I'll be back shortly. Now, this is what he said on September 14th in his Twitter account. He says, I have decided to step down as Joe Malone's global ambassador. When I joined the brand as their first male global ambassador last year, I created the, sh the short film we used to launch the campaign. It won the Fragr Fragrance Foundation Virtual Award for 2024 Best Media Campaign. The concept for the film was based on John's personal experiences. And you know, it was replicated by a Chinese actor. Now I don't want to mention his name because I thought he didn't think through what he represented, what he participated in and, um, and um, well, you know, he didn't think, think enough. <laughs> but what is sad here is that John Boyega creates a piece He's the global ambassador for Joe Malone, but his piece was replicated without him knowing. He suddenly wakes up and there's a Chinese actor presenting his work, his, what he created, but a Chinese in it for the Chinese market. Now, um, he immediately resigned. He wasn't gonna have it. That's what I love about John Boyega. No, this happens everywhere. It happens in every work environment where you do some piece, piece of work. It is a different face will be put on it that is perceived to be more acceptable to some. But this case, um, I'm surprised a Chinese actor would not have thought this through. I'm, I'm surprised and disappointed. But John Boyega handled it. You can trust it. He was not going to have it. He handled it. So there's no need to go over how wrong that was. John Boyega let us know. But I have some questions though. Those who initiated the campaign, did they really think that um, the Chinese would not want to buy a product that is being marketed by a black person? 
that is uh, they assume in the Chinese would not want to rally around Joe Malone in China or in the Chinese community because it's a black face that is promoting it? Did they buy those products when white faces promoted it? And um, I want to also speak to what happens when we accept it because the usual, usual reaction from black some is that, well, I'm getting paid and I don't want to ruffle feathers of potential employers. I don't want to ruffle the feathers of potential uh, funders. So they take it. That's another question. Can we reconcile our integrity and still be able to advance our career? Can we challenge misrepresentation of who we are as blacks and still be able to advance a career? Do we have to settle and accept some little measures of um, abuse, cultural abuse, cultural manipulation and misappropriation to survive in the, in the creative and um, employment world? What would it take to still be able to advance a career and why challenging what is wrong? Why challenging racism? Why challenging cultural abuse? Why challenging cultural misappropriation? All Boyega is asking is that if I am the global face for this product, I deserve to know, be consulted with before actions like this and decisions like this are taken. Then to my fellow people of color, what's your role? <laughs> what's your role? How do you see what's happening? What's your role? How do we ensure that we're not used to undermine others? Why are you... <laughs>